Hi friends, this is Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively. I have something fun to show you from the um, January to June calendar. I'm muting my phone. No one needs me until um, I do this and then everybody thinks they need to talk to me. I'm using a couple of things. Um, I have already seen the next annual catalog. If you want to see the um, annual catalog, just go to my website, sign up to be a demonstrator and you can look at the new catalog today. If you want to wait till the end of April, 1st of May to see the catalog, um, you can place an order on my website and I will send you a catalog for free. Or you can email me and we can see about getting you one, but we'll have catalogs the end of April, 1st of May. So let me show you a few things that are in here that we're going to use today. This is the Sand and Sea and the Designer Series paper normally doesn't carry over. We have two that are carrying over this year. Um, this is not one of them, but this stamp set is in the catalog. And so I'm going to show you um, some a, a card that from camp. We use these fabulous little blending brushes. We're going to use the um, gilded leafing that's in here that is, all, that is a carryover item. Again, some of the things will and some of them won't. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you um, what I put together. I set my gold gilding right here and now it's gone. Oh, fine. Oh, here it is. When you get a new catalog and you get excited and you start pulling things out of um, that are gonna go and things you wanna make sure you use. You start putting things everywhere and then you make yourself crazy. Okay, let me show you what we did. This was one um, a friend of mine did just by using the designer series paper, which is really cute. Um, this is the card we did at camp. This is the one I'm gonna show you how to put it together. I'm gonna use the, um, part of the friends are like seashells. I'm gonna use part of this stamp set and I'm going to use part of the um, sweet ice cream. I love this happy birthday. It's nice and bold. And so that's the birthday stamp I'm going to use. So let me show you how I put this um, stamp or this card together real quick. I took this, this shimmer paper is fantastic. It is also in the new catalog. That is it just with the seashells impressioned with the um, embossing folder. So that is it on the paper. Um, impression with the embossing folder. I went ahead and um, embossed mine in gold and then ran it through. It's beautiful. You can see how shiny it is. Okay, so now I'm going to um, some assembly required and kind of show you how I did that. I wanted a little tint of color on here um, to let it show up just a little bit more. So I pulled in the petal pink. I used these fantastic brushes. And these are going to be in the new catalog too. They've taken away our sponges and our wheels. Um, you can look at the discontinued list. It is online. If you need a copy and you don't have it, I will be happy to send it to you. So there I've added just a little bit of color going around those edges just to enhance it a little bit. I didn't want to detract too much. I just wanted to enhance. Then I love this gold leafing. I have it on all kinds of craft projects at my house, not just cards. So I put it in this little box that I got at TG Maxx Home Good Marshalls. Um, for about $4, I took um, our old embossing buddy, or you can put a little cornstarch in there and shook it around. So within, when I open it, I don't get um, that fabulous, fabulous explosion of gold. And then I took our tear and tape. I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape right across the bottom down here. And you just kind of want to mush it down and then you'll peel it off. I'm one of those people that does not have fingernails. So sometimes I have a hard time getting this off. I can use my handy dandy paper piercer. 
not, it's not a paper piercer. It's a you pick tool with a pointy end. Come on, friend. I'm on camera. Can you help me out a little bit here? Okay, here we go. When in doubt, go to the other end. Oh, come on. All right. A little burnishing down. This paper is um, has a coating on it, and that makes it it makes it so your ink doesn't dry real well and things don't stick um, super good. So you may have to do a little bit different, but it's so pretty, it's worth it. Now I'm going to put this in my gold. I'm going to use one of these pretty brushes. And I'm going to take off my excess. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to close this up and move it out of the way. I took my um, very vanilla cardstock. Fold that in half. I took a piece of our gold foil paper and I ran it through the um, old world uh, impression folder just to give it a little bit of texture. So I ran it through and gave it a little bit of texture. I'm going to snip it off. It's about a half an inch of pretty gold foil. It just brings out the gold. I'm going we're going go gold or go home. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this on here just because again, this is, it's not wanting to stick and I don't want it to tear. So I'm going to add this to the front. It's so pretty. Nobody's going to complain about my birthday card. Okay. I've added that to the front. Now I'm going to put on, I ran on my um, piece of scrap. I ran through some, some I embossed and ran through by cutting out the dies um, some of the little embellishments. So I have a sand dollar and um, some, some of the prettiest seaweed you've ever seen. I took one of my gold hoops. Now these are not going to be in the annual catalog, so if you're a fan of these, you'll need to get them. And I'm just going to push off a couple of glue dots and stick it down over here okay and then by sticking it down on this side over here i'm going to add glue dots on each side or glue dots listen to me dimensionals on each side and that's where i'm going to put my sand dollar i'm going to take my glue dots and stick my pretty beautiful seaweed down here and again I just embossed in gold I stamped on Versamark embossed in gold and then cut them out with the dies there I have my pretty seaweed and then to make my bow I just folded this over and then I took my linen thread and wrapped it around a couple of times. Clip this off. These scissors are so nice and sharp. You forget um, how bad your scissors need to be sharpened until Stampin' Up! sends you a new pair and you go, dang. All right. Now I've made my bow. And again, I'm going to stick it on with a glue dot. There you go. Oh, that gold leafing is so pretty. You see that? I mean, that's a happy birthday card. Oh, I forgot my gems. I had a hard time deciding which gems to use, whether to use the pretty um, gold sparkly ones or these gems. So let's stick some gems on. Again, we're going to go with the gold theme and we're going to go gold or go home. There, now I have gems. It's even better. 
Thanks for joining me. Have a fantastic day, and I hope to stand with you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you need to place an order, it's um, right there on the screen. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.